done is I'm just sending it down to the actual other wire and twisting it so it doesn't have a sharp edge on it. Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and today we're going to be making a transport cage for our quail and chickens. Um, I don't know if we've already posted the video or not but we had a subscriber actually give us 20 quail uh, last night and we actually met him last night and we went and picked up the quail and they was mom or they was adult quail and by the time we made it home which was about 30 minutes or so we only had six of them alive when we arrived back at home so obviously um, we we learned from our mistakes we should have done something a little bit different but we did not you know it wasn't a waste um, I went ahead and cleaned them and we will get to eat them a little earlier so um, which the, the kids have never tasted a quail but we will do that soon we want to make sure that that doesn't happen again to us so we've got some uh, scrap wire we're going to make this a little carrying cage for uh, baby quail and uh, we'll see how it works I don't know we got an idea on our mind but we'll just see how it works here we go alright guys so this is all scrap wire um, I'm going to go ahead and piece it together and just make a, a small carrying case uh, for the birds um, that way we do not lose any more. Obviously they smothered. I know I should have thought of that, but I was not thinking of it at the time. We are learning as we're going. So anyways, we're just going to make a small video on making these in which we bought us some new glasses today, some 3M protection glasses. Um, that way we do not get anything in our eye. Well, they're crystal clear when you first put them on. So anyways, what I'm going to be doing right here is uh, see how the, the edge here is, is got little points on it. Um, I'm going to be uh, sanding these down, grounding them down so they don't cut the kids or anything when we're actually moving uh, the carrying case or whatever. So here we go. What I'm doing is I'm just sanding it down to the actual other wire and twisting it so it doesn't have a sharp edge on it. All right, I got three more of these to go. I'm not gonna make you watch them. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and just cut it out and we'll move to the next part. Everything I do, I try to make it kid proof. That way the kids does not get hurt um, helping or um, I just don't want to take that chance. So we may never use this, but I bought these clips the other day. Really, I just want to try to make something out of clips, to be honest with you. No, we need to get something because I don't want to do what we did last night. I felt really bad for the kids when we got home. All the quail were dead, and um, that wasn't a very, very pleasant moment. So I'm going to try to attempt this. Now that I've got it all attached, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Flip it around and I'll do the same thing. And I'll probably end up putting something in here to keep it straight, a piece of wood or something, um, because it's not looking very straight right now. So, like I said, this is the first time trying it. Don't know if it'll work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But it never hurts to try. Go ahead and put the end pieces on. And like I say, this is just something for around the house. And I mean, um, transferring the birds from inside to out to new pens or just whatever the kids want to do. Uh, to, to help them out and make it easier that way we don't lose any of them. It would be nice to have a couple of these around just because I do not want to do what we did last night. I was very very embarrassed by the situation. Um, upset because we knew we had some adult birds and we was getting ready to start 
getting a few eggs and uh, we still I, I think Steph said uh, we got six uh, so I mean we still got a chance of getting some eggs but been a lot better if we had all 19 of them or 20 I can't remember I think he said he thought he brought 20 but it ended up being 19 or something like that but super nice guy Stephen he's got a bunch of birds and uh, he knows a bunch about birds so uh, it, it's definitely good to know someone uh, that's close that knows a lot about birds you know and we can uh, communicate back and forth if we need some help or you know vice versa if I can help him with something this is the first time ever using these clips so I think they're pretty cool but I like trying things out that I've never tried before and I like building things so once I seen the clips and I seen what they're for I told Steph I was like I've got to get some of those she was like yeah you'll be out there building all kinds of stuff well I never had a, a anything to build that I could think of until after we lost the birds and then I was like yeah I got something I can build or try to build so hopefully and it's a little bitty one so I mean we're most likely going to use them just to really transfer the quail from uh, in here to out there uh, to the bigger pins that way we don't take a chance of uh, losing them um, we actually come out here this morning and one of the baby quail actually flew out and he was on the floor because I left the I left the lid open last night and uh, I should have closed it but we had one out that was running loose and we finally caught him a little bit ago but and I know I'm probably putting way too many clips on it but I'm just one of those people that always got to make sure I have enough okay guys now I'm going to be working on the top part and I literally just had enough of wire left over from when we built the quail pins so um, we're going to wrap this up after this I mean I couldn't have got any closer I'm having to cut the last two pieces uh, just to put it together but there's nothing special about it just thought I'd make a video vlog of you know just something messing around in the shop Trust me, I got enough stuff I could already be doing, but sometimes I get carried away on other things and just can't get away from it until I, I do it. If, uh, you know, I'm set my mind to it, I'm going to do it. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with this. I come home, I know I need to move um, the qu baby quill out to their new pen. Uh, and then I've got to clean this one. Well, we've been putting them in a small box while we clean this uh, uh, the, the little small pin out, Brooder. So I thought, well, I don't want to take a chance of any of them dying again like that. I, I feel tremendously uh, terrible about it. But we are going to get the, the meat out of it. Once again, guys, I can't thank y'all enough for watching our videos and showing y'all support. It means so much to me and my family. Um, you know, we have the membership, and, and, and we talk about it quite regularly. Uh, we've been posting tons of videos, extra videos, behind-the-scenes stuff, um, things that we do that we, we don't show on our regular channel just because we don't want trolls and stuff to take it and run with it. You know, being I'm in law enforcement, a lot of people don't like law enforcement. So if you want or if you're interested in those kind of things, please go over and check our membership out. You will not be disappointed. Um, we post two to three times a week, sometimes four, and the videos may be anywhere from two minutes to, to ten minutes. It just depends on what's going on, um, and that's what I was telling them on the membership deal is, you know, for instance, you know, the, the camera we was using the other day, it fell and I broke the lens, so we've got to get that replaced. So that's the the kind of things we do with the funds with the membership is just buy buy new things and try to help our channel grow so anyways it would be greatly appreciated if you go over there and and check those videos out uh, you'll absolutely love them but enough of the talk I'm gonna get back to it I'm gonna go ahead and sand these down and then we'll go ahead and get back to putting this together Alright, somebody decided to go ahead and come back out of the house and help me out here. <laughs> go ahead. 
Yeah. See what I'm doing here? Yeah. Whoa! Alright, go ahead and get you. How do you do that? You want to go in there, make sure you got your bottom lip there. See it? Go ahead and push it, pull it, yeah. Now squeeze it. Alright, you're on the wire. Alright, that's, that's good. Load you another one in it. Squeeze it. Alright, now put it. I believe it's very important that we need a teacher chip and I'll always come up from the bottom. Well, and you make sure you catch it with that lip. See how it's got the bottom there? Now squeeze it. Get your bottom there. It's in between. Now squeeze it. I believe it's very important that we need to teach our children as they grow up here. As they grow up on how to do other things other than stay inside and play video games. Um, I want my kids to know how to defend for their self when they get older. There you go. What are going to Right here. I'm going to go right here. Bring it up. There you go. Go ahead and put another one right there. Whoa. Find that one. Think this is gonna work? I don't even know what it looks like. Like, what? How is it gonna work? It's, it's gonna be just like the when I was telling you earlier, something to transport the and quail and chickens in when we need to move them. So the game that we're trying to download real fast is when you downloaded it, it just like reset it the whole time, I think. It didn't even like give us the app when we put it in. Yeah. So Mama's trying to fix it. Sure, I cut that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
at this one. Someone told me that you were going to put me in a different wrestler thing. Like it. I don't know, I'm still thinking. I say, guys, it may look like I'm piecing it together because I am piecing it together. I'm using scrap, but this wire was actually going to go through the trash until I thought about making this. So. It's hanging over some so if something does hit the cage or something it's they're not going to come out the side so I'm gonna go ahead and and shave uh, smooth these out here and then we'll put that on and we'll be good to go all right there's the cage right there got a little door on it now I need to put a little strap or something over it so the kids can actually carry it you got a little bit of wire here huh? Forgot about it. And just screw the wire down in there really good. You take this. Just like that, you got a handle now. All right, guys, I finished it up right there. Um, that was made out of all scrap. So now I'm going to go in and get some baby quail, and we'll put them in it, and we'll see what happens. All right, just like that. Look at it. Well, you don't want to leave it down very long because there's like little poop and stuff on it. But, guys, I think this worked. Uh, for the baby chicks and baby quail, we can actually move them around and, and put them inside here or d whatever we need to do with them. We'll put a little latch on it. We should be good after that. So, guys, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching our video. It means a lot to me and my family. As you've seen in some of our videos, we do put a message across there that if you if you see this message, comment whatever that, that symbol is. So what that's for is we will we actually give away shirts. We'll pick out some winners on the shirts and we'll send them a shirt for just showing our appreciation for watching the whole video. So anyways, 
thank each and every one of y'all for watching them. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you and God bless you.